Welcome back, Seth Blang here, and I'm back on the Minecraft server, episode 2 of Season of 5, the new, got the new world with the new world border, and, uh, okay, so, so I've done some work, <laughs> so you can see I have this, this diamond pick, I actually got extremely lucky, my very first diamond pickaxe, I got, I saw the silk touch in the enchanting table, uh, with the new 1.8 enchanting, I, so I knew it was going to be silk touch, and so I was like, yes, yes, yes. And I enchanted it, so I've got Silk Touch now. Bam. So I don't have a Fortune 3 pick yet. Uh, I do actually have a Fortune 2 Iron pick. And so I got the Fortune 2 Iron pick before mining out some diamonds. So I mined uh, about 9 diamond that way or something like that. And I lent it to Nebris that way too. What are these guys talking about? But so I do have, I do have the Fortune 2 for like, you know, getting extra cobble and lapis and that sort of stuff. So that's good, and it's also good for extra levels, which I am going to need because I want to enchant, uh, enchant uh, basically a Fortune Three diamond pick. So I'm I've kind of been trying to uh, enchant stuff in order to get uh, to get the enchanting table to show me Fortune Three on the, on the iron pick, but haven't gotten it yet. So let's go back up to the surface. Uh, this is just kind of a stairway coming right down from the town center and uh, yeah so uh, we've we've made a bit of progress as a group towards getting things organized it was very chaotic back at the beginning but uh, but we've pretty much lit up the starting area now so things are there's not a lot of mobs spawning anymore and the ones that are now I have like you know protection armor and stuff like that I accidentally put blast protection on my leggings but uh, yeah so so here's here's the spawn area. Ooh. Yeah, let me show you around. So we've got this uh, this kind of plaza here. This is the center of this is the spawn point. So if I press F3, we're at zero zero, right about here. So this is the spawn point, and and the cobblestone and stone brick is where the basically a valid spawning location. So. We marked it out so that people wouldn't build stuff here. And then we're gonna have roads going off in each of the four directions from the middle. So these are gonna be these are gonna form the basis of spawn town. Um, and these are just marked out. They're not actually built yet, but uh, but we just want to get everything kind of marked so that people can pick the location and start building if they want. And so these these are gonna go out for a little distance and they'll make it easy so that when you spawn you can easily get to different buildings. But you know, we're not going to basically build any grid streets like this further out. Uh, so it's going to be kind of more organic, the spawn town will be. So we've built some things. Uh, Gude was the first one to get some diamonds. And... Oh, that was the this thing. Uh, that was the chicken farm. Uh, so Gude got some diamonds. And uh, so we got this enchanting table. Let's see. I have... Uh, oh, right. So, hold on. Let me go grab my diamond pickaxe. So we have some public chests here where with some like random food and whatever. We've got a food was actually a big problem at the beginning, but we've got enough farms going at this point that things are pretty good. So I have a Sethling's private chest. I don't really have a base of my own, but I got some diamonds. I actually was doing some fishing. I got this really cool fishing rod. I fished up this fishing rod, <laughs> which is kind of an interesting boot pressing bootstrapping process. Uh, lure 2, Luck of the Sea 2, Unbreaking 3, so, uh, and then I was able to fish up a name tag with that, and, uh, I got a saddle, which we're actually, we actually, we actually have on one of the horses. Let me grab this pick, this diamond pick, and actually let me put away the, uh, the remaining diamond ore. That's pretty cool that I got six diamond ore. Uh, okay, so let's bring it over to the enchanting table, and I'll show you what I mean about, uh, enchanting. So, okay, we've got diamond pick. Oh, uh, one of the chickens just grew up. So this is the chicken farm. Oh, this one got cooked, actually. The other ones didn't get cooked for some reason. So, yeah, okay. Put the pick in here, and we can see the level 30 enchantment will be efficiency 4. Now, it's going to have other enchantments with that. So it could have uh, unbreaking, or it could have fortune, or it could have silk touch. Uh, there's no way of knowing. So I don't want to waste the diamond pickaxe uh, until I have fortune 3. Um, so I don't want to have, like, not have the knowledge of what I'm going to get. So I'll just, like, um, make something else to enchant. In fact, yeah, I can do, I can enchant any tool. So I can just, like, 
make a shovel or stone shovel or something. And I'm just going to throw away one level and a lapis on it, so that's not too expensive. So uh, here we go. I'll get this efficiency two on a stone shovel, but I'm just going to throw it away. And now, uh, there we go, fortune three. Okay. I'm just telling everyone because we, because uh, we've been talking about this. Uh, yeah. Need to grind a bit. Okay. So yeah, now once I get to level 30, I'll be able to enchant this with uh, Fortune 3, and then I'll be able to, that's the highest level fortune, so I'll be able to actually um, get the, the diamonds, uh, mine the diamond out. So that's, that's cool. So I just need to get to level 30. Anyway, I'm going to put this pick back away, uh, just throw away the shovel in the corner. So this is kind of, uh, this is kind of the first little hut that, that we made. There's a bunch of beds, so if people want to sleep, they can. Uh, I'm not sure. I I think I actually did sleep in one of them. <laughs> okay, Good's like trapped in his house. Uh, we've got furnaces. I think Arcus is smel smelting up a bunch of smooth stone for this. Uh, this uh, this is the royal chicken that uh, the blame the controller built. You could you could hear the egg just now get uh, hatched or get uh, laid, I guess, and then. The dispenser popped the egg out, so these chickens are too short to get grant to get burned by the lava. When they grow up, they will get burned, and then they'll die, and their stuff will go through this hopper into the chest. And so, there's not a lot of chickens right now. Um, actually, let's grab more eggs. I bet there's some eggs over... So these are all the farms that we have. Uh, whoops. Thought I could walk through, but... Uh, Arcus set up these little farms. <laughs> Where's the chickens? Still working on lighting things up too, but uh, is there some way for me to get over this? No. I hear a skeleton. Is he underground? Anyway, I'm gonna grab some chick some uh, some of these eggs, and we'll see if we can get some more chickens into Royal Chicken because uh, currently Royal Chicken only has like five or six chickens on the top, and so they're gonna lay eggs very infrequently, and so it's gonna be really slow to get more uh, more chicken more cooked chicken so it's not a very effective food farm right now so I didn't get any baby chickens but that's okay <laughs> all right so so what else is there we got another public farm over here looks like the sugar cane is doing pretty well uh, we got a little bit of cactus uh, and some wheat which we've been using to breed the the cows uh, we got some melons uh, we haven't found any pumpkins yet. We do have some uh, potatoes and also some uh, carrots. So pumpkins are really kind of the main thing that we're missing here in terms of uh, crops. But yeah, what else is there? I th that's most of it. Um, oh yeah, we have a nether portal. Actually, haven't gone through this yet. But I heard that no one has found a stronghold yet. So... Oh, I heard a chicken lay an egg. Ooh. Alright, this is kind of not what I expected. Yeah. And there's another portal over there for some reason. Am I out of food? Oh no, okay. Quartz grinding. <laughs> uh, is, ne is never somewhere around here? I don't see him. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so that's what the nether looks like around the spawn area. I... Let's see. Okay, no, it does link back up. I was a little bit worried that it wasn't going to link back up. Uh, hup, hup. Am I... Did my skin change to Steve? No, okay, we have... <laughs> so the bunnies... Oh my god, the bunnies. These rabbits. Uh, so, we didn't we didn't know this at the time, but apparently when you, when you... So in order to breed rabbits, you have to tame them. And so Arcus was having trouble taming them, so he had Generic Bee come over and try. And so Generic Bee came and he was able to tame the bunnies. Uh, it turns out when you breed bunnies, the it was going through my chest here. <laughs> when you breed bunnies, it, they ma they maintain their owner. Hmm. Let's take a look. All right, I think everything's still there. <laughs> uh, so basically, uh, we we haven't been able to find any more rabbits on the server. Uh, unless until more rabbits spawn, every single rabbit we get on the server is going to belong to Generic B. So he's kind of like the bunny master. 
uh, which is a little bit silly. We didn't really realize what was going on until it was too late, but I'm not sure there was much we could do anyway. Uh, yeah. So that's pretty much what we got for the spawn town. We've lit things up a bit. Argus is starting to build his own thing over there. Um, yeah. So a bunch of mining later, and here we are. Oh, asking if it's shared. Yep. That's, whoops. That stuff is all public. Pyro just logged into the server for the first time. Uh, yeah, so here we go. Uh, I got 30 levels. Put the diamond pickaxe in. It's showing fortune 3. So hopefully I get some good unbreaking and uh, efficiency. Didn't get unbreaking, but that'll be good enough anyway. So, and maybe I can add a add unbreaking with the book. So now I have silk touch and fortune, so that's great. Uh, actually, at this point, I have some diamond ore to play around with. Let me go grab it, and I want to I want to make a couple things. Oh wait, uh, this one isn't public. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me, um, I just need a couple diamond, maybe just mine out three of this. I figure might as well keep, uh, keep the, uh, ore in ore form as long as I can. Okay, so, fortune three, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Well, I only got three out of that. Uh, okay, let me grab this diamond and another ore, because I want to make, um, Oh, where is it? There we go. I want to make a sword and... There we go. I think I got... Yeah, I got two out of that. I want to make a sword and a pick and basically take a look at what kind of enchantments I can get on those. Oh, I think I'm lagging. Alright, so... Here we go. Need another... This thing. Okay, here's a pick. Here's a sword. Let's look at what enchantments we can get. So we've got Bane of Th Arthropods, which is total junk, and Efficiency 4, which is probably fine. Uh, I'm not level 30 yet. Uh, I just, uh, you know, I just use three levels to get to level down to level 27, but it doesn't take that long to get to level 30 from 27. So uh, the other thing is I want to make a book now and see what kind of enchantment I can get on that. So in here, I think Generic B, yeah. So Generic B just enchanted the sword. And it's kind of like a public sword that you can borrow. Um, so I'm going to come over here and just... Let's see if I can get two wheat, actually, to replace the cow that I'm going to kill. Because I need some leather. Uh, let's see. There's no wheat. Maybe... Oh, yeah, there was some in here. Okay, there's 11 wheat. Perfect. So I'll replenish some cows as I kill them, you know, so that we have a supply of cows. I think we're gonna need a lot. Oh my goodness. Well, okay. I shouldn't be that worried, I guess. Let's just uh, use up all the wheat here. Okay. Let's wait for them to breed so I don't kill somebody who hasn't bred yet. And then let's see, looting is this one. So, And it has fire aspect too, so it's gonna cook the meat that comes out. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Sweet. All right, so I killed two. So I got four leather. That's great. And look at that nine steak. That's really good. That's a cool sword. <laughs> it's like a really nice sword for farming cows. And with the smite on there, it's also really good for farming wither skeletons when we get to that point. Although, like I said, no one has found a nether fortress yet, so it may not be possible. All right, so I want to make some books. We do have a bunch of sugarcane over here. I think we also have plenty of sugarcane already been harvested. I just need three... And I just want to check out what my next enchantment's going to be, so that I just like know ahead of time what I'm going to be enchanting. Uh, so let's check out what what if I enchanted a book, what would I get? And it'll be looting two. That's actually a pretty decent enchantment. So, given it's kind of between that and the efficiency four, I don't know which ones because I don't know what other enchantments this this will have. If it's just efficiency four, that'd be bad. Uh, but I usually, like the vast majority of the time, it's efficiency 4 and breaking 3. Or like efficiency 4, you know, fortune 3 or whatever. So uh, that should be fine as well. So I don't know, I'm kind of undecided. Looting is a good enchantment that's a little bit rare. So 
Um, but with the new enchanting system, maybe it's not quite as hard to get looting. Anyway, I also did uh, breed a new horse over here, so that's kind of cool. And yeah, to close out the episode, I'm gonna satisfy a little bit of my enchantment craziness. I've gone a little bit enchantment crazy. I really want lots of enchantments. <laughs> Uh, some of my iron armor has started to wear out, so I got some, um, I've started to make some diamond armor. I saw this depth strider in the, in the enchanting table, and I was like, ooh, that's cool, it's a new enchantment. Uh, and then I got fire protection with it, which is not great, but, uh, if I get, as long as I get some protection on, like, my chest plate or something, it'll be fine. Uh, so, I'm, I haven't actually tested it out, so maybe we'll go test it out. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just going to remove all of the torches here. Basically, I wanted to make an area where a lot of mobs would spawn. And so this is a dark area right under spawn. And hopefully we'll get a lot of mobs here. On my way out, I'll probably grab some uh, some of the stuff I put. I put like some iron in here, I think. Okay, so let's clear out my inventory. Definitely mined out a lot of, <laughs> a lot of crap. Um, yeah, hold on, I need more, more space than that. Just, there's like a lot of stuff in my inventory I don't really need right now. And we'll just grab this stuff on the way out. Okay, cool. And then finish taking out the torches. Yeah, we can already see mobs starting to spawn. Um, I kind of made this this area elongated so that as I'm over here, mobs will spawn over there. And when I'm over there, mobs will spawn over here. And I'm just going to fight them by hand for now. It's kind of like a mob grinder, except without the grinder part. And so I'm going to go back up to the surface. I have 31 levels, so I can enchant uh, one one thing right now. It, it costs three levels to do a, a top le top tier enchantment. Uh, I know that my f I think my diamond sword was showing uh, was showing fire aspect too. So I think I'm gonna be enchanting my diamond sword, and that's good because my iron sword is about to run out anyway. And of course, it's the Minecraft server, so it's raining. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. I have my little private chest over here. Let me grab the sword from that. Uh, I will drop off some of the stuff I got during the mining. See, I have started to get quite a bit of diamond and gold and all this crap. Um, but yeah, so... Um, I also need to kind of compact the, uh, the coal and redstone. Oops. Because they're just taking up a lot of space, and so this is a easy way to just compact that. Okay, and then, oops, and then I will grab. I'm just gonna grab all of this diamond stuff, and we'll go over the enchanting table. So I know that I'm gonna enchant my diamond sword, but I also need to figure out what I'm gonna enchant next, and I can do that right now. So let's see, diamond sword. Oh, it's knockback. Uh, okay. Well, then in that case, I think. Yeah, I, I do want an Unbreaking 3 pick. Uh, this is almost guaranteed to have Efficiency 4 as well. And so I want that. This one is uh, I'm getting towards the end of the life cycle for this guy. So what do we get? Oh, that's perfect. Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4, Fortune 3. So that's a really great pick. Let's take a look at what we can get. Um, oh, whoops. This is not my diamond sword. I'm supposed to put this back. <laughs> that was, uh, that's from the public chest. It's a looting, it's a looting sword. Okay, so what do we get? Unbreaking 3, so that might be my next enchantment. Getting Unbreaking 3 on a Diamond Sword, although... Maybe I should wait until I see Sharpness, actually. Because I don't... I really don't want to get Bane of Arthropods Unbreaking, like, that would be no good. So we got Efficiency and Efficiency. I was actually seeing a lot of Silk Touch, which kind of surprised me. And let's see what we see here. Projectile Protections, so I probably don't want to enchant my helmet just yet. Maybe it's time to make some diamond armor uh, and see what kind of enchantments I can get on those. I'm not sure. Uh, so yeah, for now, maybe I'll do... Uh, what did I say? Oh, I should put those things away. Well, anyway, I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to go back down and we'll see all the mobs that have spawned in that uh, in that mob spawning room and, uh, and fight a few and see if we can get a few levels really quick. <laughs> Uh, should be should be pretty fast, I think. Uh, let's see. So here is the room. It's pretty dark. I can't see anything. Oh, there's nothing down here. Oh, there's some. There's a zombie. No, I'm, I thought there would be more mobs down here. I guess a lot of them despawn when I went up to the surface. Um, and it kind of sucks. This my sword that I'm using right now has knockback on it. 
but at least it's a nice open area so I can see all the mobs that are around. Okay, yeah, this is actually really good. Because look, I I have, uh, I mean, the, it's probably really dark in the video, so I guess that's not, <laughs> if, in terms of video making, that's not great, but uh, there's like a, there's like a Mexican duel going on between these, Mexican standoff going on between these skeletons. Anyway, this is going to work to get me experience. It's also going to use up my armor pretty quickly, but um, I just gained about a level just now. Let's go through and collect all the experience that I got. And yeah, you can see there were mo more mobs spawning as I just kind of wandering around in this area. So it'll be pretty good for getting levels. Um, as it stands, during the day, it's pretty hard to get levels. So this will be a nice, uh, a nice way to do that. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that before I closed off the, or uh, finished off the level. Uh, things are coming on quite, quite well. I have a lot of resources. I think I'm about ready to get started building. So next time, maybe you'll see a glimpse of that. All right, well, that's about it. Thanks for watching.